Hey guys, right now I'm on the flight from Sydney to Adelaide on Sunday the 28th of September and I want to talk about what I want changed in future patches or battlefield games. But before I do that, I'll quickly go over how I make videos. When I'm stranded somewhere with my iPad but without Wi-Fi, I go into my notes app and just write scripts. So this week long holiday I'm on will probably result in several scripts I'll slowly use up over the coming weeks. I'd like to see the removal of the UCAV, SUAV and remote mortar gadgets. Every time I get killed by these gadgets, it's a mixture of rage and questioning whether the enemy has friends. There's no real tactical use. These are essentially kill whoring gadgets that don't require skill. There's no risk of losing a firefight unlike straight up combat and it is simply unfair for the person on the other side of the fight. You shouldn't be able to die from some player on the other side of the map sitting on an ammo bag ignoring the objective. I'd also like to see the removal of the gunship. It's a similar issue to the UCAV slash SUAV slash mortar problem in that it doesn't require skill and has no risk. Now you might be thinking, well, you have to lead the targets, but I mean seriously, anyone can lead a shot, that's not skill. Some people may see that it adds weight to capturing a certain, a certain objective, but that's not a reason to have the gunship in. It's pretty rage inducing when you are constantly being suppressed and sometimes hit by bullets or shells that are virtually inescapable. I've got on a few kills uh, when several months ago, I mean I got a few kills several months ago with the gunship, but for the most part I just use it to spawn in and go special forces mode and press it onto objectives or take out some rooftop campers. I think attack and scout helicopters should always be a one shot from dumb fire rockets and tank shells. It's pretty annoying when you land an epic shot and all it brings up is vehicle disabled and have it fly away. For transport helicopters, they can still retain the capability to withstand a tank shell or dumb fire rocket because it's bigger and slower but for the smaller helis, I think landing such a difficult shot should always be rewarded by a kill. I definitely want to see improvements to the spawn system, which I have discussed in an earlier video. Shotgun hit detection uh, needs a bit of work as well. Currently the shotguns are pretty unpopular and that's partially because of their intended nature and partially because of what seems to be a lot of bugginess where you can hit a person square in the chest from a few meters away and it wouldn't do it would do hardly any damage and similar situations. Shotguns back in Battlefield 3 are fun to use but right now they're pretty unreliable and glitchy and I'd much prefer having a full auto weapon. There are still netcode issues, especially when going prone and crouching. With the recent patches, dying around corners and general delay has been improved, but there's still many times where I take cover by going prone or crouching and still die despite being behind cover. This has been pretty frustrating and I'd be very glad to see it get fixed. I think there should be individual vehicle sensitivities for mobility and aiming. By this I mean different sensitivities for turning a vehicle itself and aiming with the turret. This applies to main battle tanks, infantry fighting vehicles, attack boats, and mobile anti-aircraft tanks. To me the turning of the vehicle is too slow and the arc is too wide but my turret has too high a sensitivity and it's hard for me to aim accurately. To further improve the system you could even add the option of adjusting mobility sensitivities for the different vehicles, for example ATVs and dirt bikes against you know tanks. I also want PDWs and carbines to swap roles, like it was in Battlefield 3. It's kind of intuitive that you give PDWs to engineers because engineers are useful in game modes and maps that are larger and vehicle focused such as Conquest and Goldman Railway. PDWs are designed for close quarters. It's obvious by their high hip fire and strafing accuracy but low damage at range and standing accuracy. This in itself isn't the biggest problem because engineers can just use a carbine as their all kit weapons. On smaller game modes and maps, people who play engineer do so because of their access to the close quarters PDWs. It would serve the team better as an assault or support player because of their gadgets which are the ammo boxes and medic boxes compared to you know, a rocket launcher or a repair tool. Finally, I would like to see the removal of commander mode or at least UAVs. The whole notion is pretty gimmicky and it detracts more from the game than it adds. Most people try commander mode once or twice and then jump back into being a soldier because it's far more fun. No one really uses commander mode 
and UAV spam can be really detrimental to the gameplay, ruining any attempt at stealthiness. The commander mode really isn't important to the Battlefield series, and I'll prefer the game without any of the UAV and EMP UAV spam, so I'd be glad to see it gone. So that's it for today guys, this was just some stuff that I wanted to see change in the Battlefield. Tell me what you agree or disagree with, and any other ideas you have. I'm Infinity Assassin, thanks for watching, and peace out.